everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be doing a video all about what does the universe want you to know and also this will be within six months. So this is kind of like a combination of universe message but also within six months. So let's get started with this reading. The audio and the video might be slightly different because I've made a few changes today but we will be going back to my usual setup in the next couple of videos but I'm in a different location so the video will look up a little bit different it might sound a little bit different but hopefully you can hear everything and everything is not kind of disturbed so let's get started with today's video let's see what's coming towards you within the next six months and let's go we have group number one group two group three and group four so let's get started start with group number one hello group number one let's get started with your reading so you guys i'm using the universal oracle cards by christina these are beautiful cards as soon as i got them i was like oh my god they are so amazing so we're going to be seeing what's going on for you guys within the next six months what's going on for you guys so we're going to start off with the one card and then we're going to clarify it with the rest of the cards and some tarot so let's get started Okay, so you guys have the lovers. So this is divine counterpart, chemistry and a partnership. I'm going to try and bring that close to the camera so you guys can see it. I don't know if the lighting needs to go up a little bit more. Let me bring it up a little bit. So that is really, really lovely. So let's get a couple more. So we're going to see what the lovers is all about. And let's have a look and see... Okay, so we have intuition. We then have self-worth. And we have talents. Okay. Oh, that's really, really wonky. Okay, so let's clarify each pile. Lovely. Interesting. This is like a really deep message for some of you guys and then we have this one lovely oh okay so this is gonna be a really really deep message for some of you so obviously take it as it resonates i feel like the main thing i'm feeling for this area is that a lot of you guys are working on being independent when it comes to relationships you're learning to really focus on your intuition and focus on what makes you feel good what makes you feel really comfortable and I also feel like a lot of you guys could be coming away from a toxic connection. And this doesn't have to be a partnership. This can be a family. This can be um, a friend. It can be literally any connection you have with somebody. This is a sort of situation I'm feeling. So I'm getting this energy of great independence. I'm hearing the great indep or independence day or something, which has nothing to do with literally like independence in this sense. But I feel like for a lot of you guys, you definitely have been tempted by people who aren't very good for you. And you're learning to come away from that. You're learning to pull away from people who aren't good for you, people who have made you feel really uncomfortable. And you're learning to basically just work with your own intuition. So I feel like the last six months, you've really been, um, which is funny, this is a six month reading, but I really feel like literally the last six months, you've really been working on your independence. Your boundaries have been getting really, really good. And I feel like within the next six months, what's going to happen for you is you actually could be meeting somebody um, lover wise in terms of a partnership. You could be meeting somebody who really makes you feel good. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, working on your throat chakra is going to be a really good thing for you to do. Um, I do feel within those next six months, there will be someone coming in for you in terms of um, a partnership. And because you have been working on your independence within partnerships, you're also learning how to be independent as somebody who has their own views and opinions, rather than just watching and waiting for people to uh, either come into your life or waiting for people to have their own sort of needs and wants and then you kind of attach to them. You're basically just doing you, you're putting yourself first. And I feel like this is a really, really strong message that... It's really important to form your own views, form your own opinions, form your own actions and not worry about what other people think all the time. That's not really the most important thing. So the other side of it is we have self-worth, talents and retreat. I genuinely feel like for some of you guys, you are coming out of a toxic relationship with a partner. 
Um, but you're also coming out of a toxic relationship with just people in general. Um, you're really realizing who's good for you, who isn't good for you. And then we have self-worth, talents and retreat. I feel like this is about you coming into your independence. I feel like what they're showing me is this is what's happening now and this is what's going to happen within the next six months. And I see that you are coming into your path. And we have this card that says on the right path. I really love this because with talents, you know, it doesn't always need to be... Um, you know, with talents, you normally get like, you know, musician or artist or something like that. But because it says on the right path, it's really, really nice. Um, oh my God, I realise this, this says boundaries. So yeah, it definitely is. You're getting really comfortable with being single. You're getting comfortable with realising that you don't actually have to be in a partnership to feel worthy. If anything, you'll feel much more worthy without one while you work on yourself. And then when you do find more comfort, comfort being by yourself, but also being in a community, you know, I'm not saying being literally by yourself, um, but it is really important to realise that your self-worth literally comes from you, and what's really nice, in the next six months, your creativity is going to get so much higher, like, you're going to get so much more comfortable with asserting yourself, with basically just putting your talents in place like a lot of people are going to start realizing how talented you are and something's going to happen where you start not focusing on people who aren't giving you any energy and you're focusing more on yourself and what you what energy you can give to yourself and then with that you're actually manifesting a new path which I see being you're showing your talents so within the next six months I see you starting a new career you could be starting a new hobby um, that brings you more community I just feel like any any time you can bring yourself peace, do it. Anything, even if people disagree, if you feel intuitively this is going to bring me a lot of peace, then fucking do it. That's what I really feel very, very strongly to tell you guys. And we also have perspective. I feel like for a lot of you guys, having perspective at the moment is really, really important. Um, and this basically means to focus on things that are not directly in front of you. So anytime you can meditate, anytime you can basically just be away from your brain would <laughs> be great. So meditation, getting out in nature, things like that. I'm realizing that this is just a process. Yes, you might not feel super comfortable right now, but it's okay to feel like that, you know. So we'll have a look and see them with these two piles in mind. What I love about these cards as well is they're all connected. I'm not being paid to say any of this, by the way, guys. I just fucking love this deck. As soon as I saw it, I was like, wow, I, I just really 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 connect with this deck okay so let's see where you are now and then let's see where you are in the future so they're saying to have all of these i was literally only going to get one card but they wanted me to have all of those so um so let's see i'm hearing it's okay to feel alone it's okay to not know what's going on and what's really nice is you're coming more into your own like you're going to meet a lot of new people because of your because you're coming into your talents you know it's really good to contemplate as well the right decision. If you don't know the right decision yet, don't make the right don't make the decision yet. Okay. Right, so we have the Nine of Pentacles. We're gonna get another one. Three of Cups. Okay, so I'm just feeling recognition for you guys. You're gonna get recognized um, because of your talents. And then we have the page of wands, which is really, really nice. Full on independence, which is so good. Okay, so where you are right now, we have the eight of wands. We have the universe, literally it says you, universe. We have justice. We have the emperor and the five of wands, lovely. I'm actually picking up on narcissistic um, behavior. Somebody who's very narcissistic, most likely a male, um, could be a female as well. You are actually okay um, with being in the moment when there is possible abuse coming at you. It's not like you're, you're accepting it, but you're not, like hiding away from it you're not shying away from it and i feel like you are seeing things clearer and you're able to make decisions that are actually for your benefit not just for somebody else which is really really nice a lot of you guys are always thinking about other people all the time it's really time for you to think about yourself i am picking up also it'd be really good for you to start a new game for some of you guys i don't know if you like gaming maybe nintendo or something like that but this sword really reminds me of like zelda <laughs> um i love nintendo guys i love nintendo um i'm not i don't actually play zelda but i do love nintendo i love all the mario games animal crossing is amazing so what i'm seeing for you is get really enthralled 
in a story get really excited by a story so whether that be a book or that be a game whether that be a film don't be afraid to just really relax and really get into a story that'll be a really good time to do it right now so what I'm feeling for you is you're going to start choosing people from a really conscious place. I saw you directly looking at people and being like, yes, no, yes, no, and deciding who's the right person for you. So that's a really nice message for you. I feel like in the next six months, you've got this basically covered. I don't feel like it's anything that is, you know, kind of uncomfortable. I just feel like at the moment, yes, you might be feeling uncomfortable for the next like, couple of weeks. But after that, I generally feel like feels things are going to start to move. And just realising you're not alone. I definitely feel like this is a collective message as well. A lot of people in the collective are going through this. I do feel like there has been a lot of um, kind of narcissistic abuse coming out of the woodwork because of the planets kind of squaring and things like that. So you're not alone. You know, this isn't, you're not going to be in this forever. So I feel like I need to pull you guys a guided message. So we're going to do that now. So this is the Rose Oracle, I'm pretty sure, which I'm going to use now. These two are really important, by the way. Um, your intuition and your self-worth. It says, knowing extra sensory perception, <clears throat> boundaries, pride and grace. I also saw a lot of you guys might have felt like you needed to get married. I'm seeing this as like a bride. Um, and it, it, to me, it almost looks like a... I'm, I'm picking up on specifically an Indian wedding, which I'm, I'm just picking up on that gorgeous, like, colourful, expressive nature. So it doesn't actually have to be specifically that culture. Um, but that's just what I saw. I saw like somebody getting married and they felt like they had to get married. And this was in your past. You might have felt like you had to get married. It felt, it feels very much like family ingrained. Like people told you, you have to do this, you have to do that. Um, and now you're kind of pulling away from that, which is really nice. Cause you found, you found, you found what feels really, really right for you, you know? So I'm going to pull you one of these cards here. lovely so this is your guided message right now so this is codes of the seeds the blueprint is within you take the next step and then we have the breathing rose heart healing emotions connection and time eases so we're gonna have a look into the book and see what this says about the next six months for you okay guys so i'm gonna read you this message so you can close your eyes while i'm reading this message if you'd like to but just go with whatever you're drawn to okay so it says codes of the seeds like i said this is the rose oracle Okay, so seeds come in knowing exactly what to do. Within them, they hold the potential of entire forests and rose gardens. Oh, I suddenly feel really breathless, like my heart chakra just suddenly opened. Seeds have within them an intelligent timing that's connected with the intelligence of the cosmos. We're all seeds, future forests and gardens waiting to be born. We each hold the codes of a new humanity within us. Change is our natural state. Seeds must be buried in the darkness before they can bloom in the light. Seeds can't even begin to bloom without embracing the fertile void of the winter soil. They can't flower without outgrowing the constraints of the bud. They can't bear fruit without realizing, without releasing their beauty to the earth and letting go of the very thing about them that captivates others. This card delivers the message that within you, you have all you need to create what you're destined to create, to move through everything that life delivers and to navigate your way through any terrain. The blueprint has always been seeded within. Trust that you have within you the codes for the most glorious rose garden waiting to bud and bloom. Trust those codes, remember that blueprint. All you need to do now is take the next step and tomorrow take the next. If you continue taking baby steps each day on a day not too far from today, you will look back and discover the most breathtaking garden of roses all around you and then fruit will follow. Today, we'll, today, just take the next step. You know what to do. The blueprint is encoded within you. What's your soul calling you to do? What's one baby step you can take? That is so nice. And I feel like what I love about that is it's like, it's not putting pressure on you to do something that's out of your comfort zone. It's basically saying you have this within you, know what to do. It's really realizing that it's, it's okay to, to not know exactly where you're going right now, but you actually have it within you. So whenever you're ready, it will you'll be ready. It will come to you, you know? So let's see what else is on its way to you in the next six months. We'll put her over here. I feel like this is definitely to do with a brand new path that you're just feeling very uncomfortable right now. I feel like you're on the edge of something brand new. And yes, it will feel uncomfortable because that's just how it is sometimes, you know? Okay. I've 
picking up on really strong Pisces energy right now. So let's see. Okay, we have Aquarius. We have uh, Venus. I'm picking up on a connection with a father figure. I feel like you're healing that as well. That's really something you're dealing with. I'm hearing dealing and healing. <clears throat> and we have Jupiter. Okay, so <clears throat> we have some major changes going on. We have Aquarius, we have Saturn, and we have Jupiter. I feel like for a lot of you guys, this is about major breakthroughs within your love life, major breakthroughs within your independence, and major breakthroughs with your actual happiness levels. I'm picking up on no flush niacin, and just to quote, like I am not a doctor, <laughs> I'm not a doctor, I'm not here to prescribe you stuff, but I'm here to advise. So if you ever feel like something is drawn to you, obviously, of course, consult your doctor. Oh my god, we have Pisces underneath. Oh my god, it's amazing. So basically, um, niacin is um, just like a really, really strong vitamin B complex. Um, niacin no flush is a really good one because it helps you to not get flush symptoms. Make sure to get the no flush, otherwise you will get flush symptoms. Niacin just really helps, especially if you're going through depression, if you're really dealing with a lot of hormonal changes, menopause. I just recommend it to a lot of people. Um, obviously, take precautions. You know, if you have medication, check with your doctor. Um, but it is very, very good. And that's kind of what I was picking up for you guys. Because you're going through such a big change, it's really important to give yourself supplements, whatever feels right for you. I'm also picking up on rosemary. So rosemary tea, anything to do with roses is so good for you. Really good at opening up your heart chakra. The fact that we have Pisces, I am picking up on a Pisces Aquarius relationship where both of you are very, very independent, but you're also really, really tied to each other in a beautiful way. And the Venus and Jupiter is really nice. Like both of you are able to be in a relationship or be in a connection, but also feel really happy and free. So I'm just picking up on this community forming within you guys. And this is literally within the next six months. So this is going to be a lot of major changes for you. I'm picking up also you'll learn to trust yourself in relationships. You'll learn to trust love and trust connections and really trust yourself, which is so nice. Nice. and I just feel really good about this is there anything else that wants to come through they're saying pull one of these cards so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to pull one of these lovely that is definitely what I feel like for you guys you are literally rising through this and it feels uncomfortable but I feel like for a lot of you guys it's about being independent with your thinking so I'm hearing I need to have a job where I can be myself but you have to come away from the I'm just going to be blunt. What they're telling me is like the slavery mindset, which I'm going to be very lightly when I say that. I don't mean that li in the literal sense. I mean it to the fact where you follow the crowd. You always have to do what other people tell you to do. It's always about other people. Um, never having your own thoughts, never having your own opinions. It's that kind of like drudgery, rat race kind of mindset. And I'm not saying even if you are in a nine to five job, I'm not saying it's bad. What I feel like for a lot of you guys is actually giving yourself a chance to look after your body, even if you are in that situation and realizing that you do have a choice. Even if you are a nine to five job, doesn't mean you can't look after yourself. Doesn't mean you can't put yourself first. Doesn't mean you can't have something on the side that really brings you a lot of joy. So you are bringing in that money, but you're also doing something that really brings you a lot of joy. You are allowed to have choice. And yes, you might be knackered, but a lot of the time it's because you're not investing too, you're not investing enough into yourself. And this can be as simple as, you know, doing a nine to five job or where you are earning a lot of money, but you're also using that money for yourself. You know, possibly could be doing therapy, having therapy sessions or, you know, getting Reiki, getting massages, you know, getting your, I'm hearing pedicures, doing little things for yourself that really bring you a lot of abundance. Yeah, lovely. I really feel like a lot of you guys are being pushed into doing something that's really out of your comfort zone. Um, it feels to do with your job. It feels like something like that. And I'm saying I'm fully supporting you. I'm hearing your, I'm hearing the universe, your guides, they are fully, fully supporting you. And you are not alone. You can do this and you are amazing. So have a great day. Um, look out for birds as well as a bird that literally just nearly flew into the window. Um, so have a great day and I'll speak to you very soon, group one. Bye. Hello, group two. Let's get started with the reading. You guys chose Purge. Beautiful. So within the next six months, cleansing, clearing, releasing. Yes, I know this has probably come up a lot for you in readings if you've watched them before. Yes, I know we're always cleansing and releasing. Yes, I know it is very boring, <laughs> but this is a really powerful energy. This feels very Mars, very Martian very just yeah very Mars it feels very intense it feels really really masculine it feels really really powerful I 
love this. So let's see what else is going on for you guys. Okay, so this is the next one, transformation. Oh my God, <laughs> you don't get any more uh, transformative than that. Okay, let's see what else we have. Okay, this is lovely. This is really funny because group number one got the Lovers and Independence, but they got it in this section here rather than this section. So for the kind of messages I'm getting today is to kind of focus on where you're at right now and then focus on where you're going to be, which I feel like is really nice. So I love this. So a lot of you guys are really focusing on your masculine side. You are focusing on your the side of you that is to do with pushing yourself forward. It's to do with focusing on your actions, boundaries, um, really powerful, um, just really powerful opinions, realizing that you do have opinions and things like that. And your masculine side is the same for females and males. Everyone has a masculine side, everyone has a feminine side, otherwise we would be very, very unbalanced. Um, so your masculine side is how you assert yourself, it's, it's boundaries, it's really putting yourself first. And then uh, your feminine side is your nurturing side, the caring side, the, uh, yeah, the, the feminine side. It's the side of you that, op this, that opens the heart chakra, you know? Lovely. Okay. So I feel like think truth bombs are being thrown at you everywhere. You are being thrown so many truth bombs. It's actually unreal. So this is all about you guys being asked to basically see something that's right in front of your face. And I feel like for a lot of you guys, it's to do with your ego or somebody else's ego. It says humanness, conditioning and insecurity. This is good. This is actually really good because I feel like you're being shown what the situation is right in front of your face, which is really, really nice. And it is literally to do with your self-worth. It's actually asking you, okay, how much do you really, really, really love yourself? How much do you want to put yourself forward? How much do you want to put yourself first? Okay, so when it comes to this energy, I really feel like a lot of you guys are being asked to purge and push. Um, this could actually mean for a lot of you guys, you could actually be birthing a child. Um, I am seeing something being purged out of the body. So it could be a literal human. It could be a baby. Um, someone, it could be someone being purged out, um, which I really feel very strongly for a lot of you guys. So I feel like um, a lot of you guys are being pushed out of your comfort zone because you're needing to really be more independent with your think with your thinking. And it's not to say you're not independent because I feel like a lot of you guys really are very much independent. What it's doing is it's showing you the sort of people you don't need and do need in your life. I'm picking up for a lot of you guys, you are going to bring in a relationship in the next six to eight months. Um, I will say six to eight months because obviously timing can change. So just take it as it resonates. But for a lot of you guys, yep, something is coming to its head. This is okay. This is good. You are protected. And I really feel like um, this is to do with you and how you earn money. Also, it could be it could be you suddenly get a job that you've always wanted. Um, it could be that you're moving out of someone's house, um, something like that. And my ears are getting really, really hot. My left ear is getting really, really hot. Um, so this is my, this is the feminine side. So your feminine side is also being tested as well. Um, so I feel like I'm hearing how much will, how much will they put up with? I'm hearing how much will she put up with? So that's basically what you're being asked to do is to realize this is something that I want to put up with. So when it comes to the situation that you're dealing with, obviously everyone's in a different situation. I feel like you just got to be really, really kind to yourself because you are going through major breakthroughs. I genuinely feel like what this is doing is this is saying, okay, how much do, how, and I say she, because that's just how it comes out. Even if you're a guy, same thing. I'm just hearing how much will she deal with? How much will she actually put up with? Because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are bringing in a really, really gorgeous connection and you are being asked to really set your boundaries, really put yourself first and purge, fucking transform. And this is actually gonna bring in a really lovely connection. And this isn't gonna say that this connection is gonna basically save your life, but this person is going to prove to you that you deserve to be loved by another human. Okay, and you do deserve to be loved by another human. And you will need to realize that by yourself. And then that's when somebody else comes in because you're no longer waiting and wishing for somebody to come in, you're focusing on yourself. I feel like for a lot of you guys, home comforts is the main goal right now, doing anything that makes you feel really comfortable. Um, so we have basically divine counterpart, chemistry partnership, self-sufficiency, freedom and sovereign, wisdom, learning and new information. 
I'm feeling like I'm hearing like you might actually meet somebody online, not on online dating. Online dating can be very toxic, so I would not recommend that. But I do, I am picking up on like Instagram, Facebook, I'm hearing LinkedIn. They might be somebody who knows some through, you might know this person through somebody else. Um, but I'm just hearing it's all taking care of love. I'm hearing it's all taking care of. You just got to ride that wave, okay? So I'm just hearing doing EFT, doing practices that really help your emotions will really help you in this situation. But honestly, guys, this is literally your butterfly moment. You're being birthed. It is absolutely beautiful. And you might actually be um, thinking about getting a butterfly tattoo or wearing butterfly earrings. It's something to do with butterflies. Okay. So then have the hangman as well. So timing is really kind of... It's not irrelevant, but I'm hearing it's quite, it's mutable. It's like, for timing for you, yes, this is like a six month reading, but I do feel like for a lot of you guys, this is really about just taking your time. This is about not putting a time frame on things um, as much as you can. So I also, I also feel with the hanged man is, sorry, or hanged woman here, is I feel like a lot of you guys are being judged, especially as a female by somebody, or by, so obviously if you're not a female, as a male, you're being judged possibly on your sexuality in some form. I do feel like it's somebody very close to you. It could be a partner or... Um, a family member, somebody is judging you based on your gender and I'm not sure what this is about but for some of you it's to do with dominating, someone's trying to dominate you in a really uncomfortable way so you're realising wow this person really isn't who I thought they were and basically you're kind of making actions accordingly but honestly I don't feel like there's anything really that's too uncomfortable, yes it is uncomfortable, this feels like Mercury retrograde crap coming up, um, I am filming this in Mercury retrograde shadow so um, is this shadow? This is the part of it's after the Mercury retrograde. Um, yeah, I'm pretty sure it's a shadow phase. So there will be a lot of things that come up around this situation to transform you. But honestly, guys, this is fucking amazing. I want to pull you just a couple more tarot cards for the future because I feel like this is kind of stagnant. Um, I don't feel like there's any really any movement. So we'll see what wants to come through. Okay. Wheel of Fortune, lovely. This is massive changes for you guys. This is, girl, brand new phase for you. This is absolutely gorgeous. I'm hearing where things feel lost, they're actually found, which is so cute. Yes, there we go, right. For a lot of you guys, this will be a relationship. This will be somebody who sees you. This, do you know what's really, what I love about this energy, my legs are tingling so much. This doesn't feel like a partnership. This feels like somebody who you feel really comfortable with because you're not waiting for somebody, you're not wishing for somebody, you're not desperate for somebody. You just, you want to be with somebody who respects you, who appreciates you, who loves you for who you are and you feel good with each other and you're able to share each other's lives. You want to have friends with, with each other. You're always bringing your friends in. They're bringing their friends in. It's a community. That's what you're looking for. This is that. This is somebody who pops in and is like, oh, hi. And you're like, oh my God, this is, I know this is partner. But oh my god, I didn't realise they'd come this time. It's really, really unexpected. And yeah, it feels really nice. They might even have a cat. And they might even have a ginger cat. So have a look at any of these images as well. They might be significant for you guys. But keep picking up on tattoos for a lot of you guys. This is the person you are leaving behind. This is somebody who is narcissistic. Doesn't have to be this gender. Can be any gender. Can even be like a, a father figure, a mother figure. Who is just so narcissistic. You are letting go of them. And you are moving forward. And you are now bringing in somebody who's really intelligent. Um, obviously not saying that pre any previous people weren't intelligent. But this person is emotionally intelligent. They are so intelligent. I actually see this as the king of, king of um, cups. So they're very emotionally intelligent. They're very emotionally aware. And there's somebody that is very, very supportive. They are your community. They are your tribe. You trust them. You feel balanced. And you're ready to move forward. And... You are in a very concrete place. This feels really concrete. I feel like a lot of you guys have moved forward. This is you now, moving forward, not looking back. You used to kind of look back and kind of compare yourself to other people. I think I could be, I want to be in their position. At the end of the day, you can be in their position. If any jealousy comes up around any, any people in situations, it's because it's because that's something you want. It doesn't mean you can't have it. You can have it, okay? Whether that be somebody's doing a job that you really want to do or they're having a, a massive amount of followers and like you may be wanting a lot of followers on your Instagram account or something like that. It's like, you can actually get that. The reason why you're jealous is because your intuition is saying, I want that and that's you going towards it, okay? So let's get you a divinely guided card. This is the Rose Oracle by Rebecca Campbell. Let's see what card wants to come through for your guidance. Lovely. So we have open. Say yes, expand through the extremes and trust life. And then we have the sacred union. There we go. 
beloved within inner and outer relationships. I actually would love to read both of these. Obviously it would take me quite a long time. So I'll just kind of read a little bit of both or just see what wants to come out. So we'll have a look at open and we'll see 98. Lovely. So, oh, right, I get it. So you are opening up. You're learning to open up. You're opening up your heart chakra, trusting yourself. And then that's when a person comes in because you have gone through the shit and you are no longer putting up with shit as well. Okay. This card contains, this one, this card contains within it a confirmation of inner call and a reassurance that you're not alone in it. The mother of us all thanks you for being part of these changing times for humanity. She acknowledges your devotion to doing your best to support yourself and others in the journey back home to themselves, to each other and to the earth. She wants you to know that she is available to guide you every step of the way. Speak, sing and dance with her. You are led, you are led, you are led. Which is so cute that it's repeated because a lot of the time my guides repeat messages in like three times, which I find really cool. So we have, how are you being called to commit more deeply to humanity and to the earth? So I'm going to read the sacred union because that is like literally it's exactly what i feel like is coming for you so we're going to read her she is 118 beloved within inner and outer relationships relationships are how we grow they cradle and stretch us through connection and division love and hurt compassion and separation they invite us to return again and again to the most important relationships we'll ever have the one with ourself the sacred union that's been waiting within ancient mystery teachings whisper secrets of sacred unions Heros, Gamos, sacred marriage in early Christian mysticism and Kabbalah, sexual alchemy in ancient Egyptian teachings and Yabyam, father, mother in Tibetan Buddhism. We're familiar with mystic couples such as Isis and Osiris, but we each have the sacred masculine and feminine within and sacred union through external relationship is always an invitation to deepen the union within. And something I always get all the time is when it comes to relationships, a lot of people use relationships to escape their stuff. I'm sorry, this is really bright guys. I'm using natural lighting. Um, with relationships is a lot of people use them to escape their reality. What is really ironic is relationships will always bring up your stuff. So you think, oh, that girl's really attractive. That guy's really attractive. Bring them in. And then you're like, why do I feel like shit? It's because they're actually bringing stuff up within you that you're not realizing. That is the ironic thing. Um, which is maybe why sometimes people actually would rather be single, but it's kind of like, that's where we need to have balance, you know, not to push people away, but also just to let them come in and not have a reaction, realizing we've got to be in our body when we're in these relationships, because we've got to put ourselves first, we've got to be very conscious in these connections, because that's so important. Okay, every relationship can be seen as an invitation to deepen connection with the beloved within even our most challenging relationships, especially the most challenging ones. The sacred union isn't just between you and another, it's returning to yourself. And when we return to ourselves, we also return to humanity as a whole. Maybe you're being invited to grow through relationships. Perhaps you feel like you're being tested or stretched or find yourself longing for something external. This is an invitation to deepen the connection within, to embrace yourself fully and to treat yourself like the most precious person on the planet. The more embraced you feel, the easier it is to embrace others. How can you embrace yourself more? So cute. Love that so much. Okay. And I love this because this masculine here, I feel like, I don't know if this is masculine or a feminine or obviously a male or a female, but this feels very, very feminine to me. This feels like a really nice connection of a masculine and a feminine. And then we have a ring, which is so cute. I love that. Oh my God. <coughs> my throat is doing something. <coughs> okay. Let's get you a couple more cards. So within the next six months, what's going on for group number two? Lovely. Getting things cleared up, getting things sorted, especially around the home. Chiron, yep. This is getting you to bring your karma right to your face and then let's clear it. Let's get rid of it. Let's move it through. I don't really like saying get rid of it, but let's let's move it through. Okay, so you have third house and eighth house. You might actually be working on your third or eighth house at the moment and you can find that out. Um, I'm going to do a video on it soon. I know I keep mentioning it, but I will do a video on it soon. Um, the Gem Goddess did a video on it. It's called like birth houses or something. It's really, really good. But anyway, she has it on her channel if you want to go check it out. But basically, every year you go through a different birth house. So I'm 25, so I'm working on my second house, 
when I'm 26, third, 27, fourth, you know, you go for each house. You guys might actually be working on your third house. So you might be um, 26, you might be six, seven, eight, 38. Um, you might be, you just had 12 basically every time. So you could also work on your eighth house. So you could be, uh, let me think, um, I have 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 30, so you could be 31, you could be 43, you know, those sort of ages. So what this means is whatever your third, whatever your house is you're working on, you're working on that, that planet that rules that house, but also the zodiac sign. So it's, it's very intense. So what I feel like for a lot of you guys, you're working on communication. You're working on transformation as well. You are working on getting fucking intimate with yourself. You are working on, okay, how much can she or he or she be tested before she gets intimate with themselves? Basically, how much can you be tested until you start cracking open that intimacy barrier? Okay, so I also feel like for a lot of you guys with Virgo, this could be testing your health. You could be going through some health issues. Um, what this is showing me is that it's okay. Everyone goes through different processes. Health issues are really no different than relationship issues. It's just a form of transformation okay so there is no shame in going through any of these transformations it's all part of the human experience and for a lot of you guys it's okay to go through this and you are not alone you really really aren't all right and a lot of you guys are going really internal be like make sure to meditate make sure to you know do the things that make you get out your head more because you really need to focus on yourself and you're quite an internal person I feel so you're, everything you feel is yeah it's really about acceptance is accepting yourself and realizing it's okay um things will be up and down but it's all right to feel like that okay lovely accepting pleasure like bringing in pleasure in your life so that is your reading guys i really hope you enjoyed it it's all about safety as well feeling safe within yourself have a great day and i will speak to you very soon much love also my rates and my crystal shop are below and my instagram is also below i do live streams on there where i do little q and a's um yeah so have a great day and i'll speak to you soon bye Hello, group number three. Let's get started with your reading. So we have Innocence. Ooh, girl. Okay, let's see. So we have Unconditioned, <clears throat> Unconditioned, Trusting, Vulnerable, and Pure. Beautiful. Right, let's have a look and see what's going on with her. So this is where you're at right now. And then we're going to see where you're at in six months, because that's kind of how we've been doing it throughout the last two piles. Oh my God, the cards are coming up so similar as well. They're all very, very similar. Obviously, we are part of a collective, so we will be going through similar things, but damn, like damn, it's intense. I'm picking up on a star. I just saw a star, just like, it's like a normal star. I'm hearing like songs like Wishing on a Star, Waiting for a Star to Fall, Waiting for a Star to Fall. That's beautiful. <clears throat> okay, a lot of you guys are meant to be in a healing job. Um, if you are thinking about it, I'd say start it now or literally like do little things to start it because I feel like for a lot of you guys, you are being really drawn to the healing arts. Um, that's going to be part of your journey for the next six months is do some healing, have some healing, get some Reiki girl, get some whatever, <laughs> get whatever you're drawn to. Um, yeah, get some Reiki done. Um, yeah, whatever you're really drawn to, I just keep picking up Reiki Tai Chi, um, doing some time here in Taekwondo. <laughs> so anything that moves your body around as well is really good. Um, let's get one more. Yeah, a lot of you guys are dealing with inner, inner child stuff, inner child work, lovely. So you're no longer kind of hurting yourself for being who you are. I genuinely feel like a lot of you guys have gone through a lot of pain and disappointment, maybe in the past six months, maybe recently, maybe a few years ago. I feel like you are meant to be a soul healer. I'm hearing someone who heals the soul. And you could do this in so many different ways. It doesn't have to be a, a certain therapist. You could be an artist. You could be a musician. You could be, um, I'm hearing a dancer. If someone will look at you and think I could do that so you are setting an example whatever you're doing so don't be afraid to really start it don't be afraid to show people what you're really made of and you don't have to go on TikTok you don't have to do it on YouTube you don't have to get a blog do it the way you want to do it okay because it's all about your self-worth this is really about being seen letting people see you okay so we have innocence truth purge and goals with innocence says unconditioned trusting vulnerable pure truth all perspectives in one 
purge, cleanse, clear, release, and then we have goals, hopes, dreams, um, aspirations, and ideas. I feel like a lot of you guys are being drawn to something you did when you were a child, um, and doing that now. Um, I'm sorry guys, the lighting's really, really bright, I just want to make sure you can see it. I'm sorry if it's really, like, overexposed, I might try and just bring it down slightly. Um, hopefully that's a little bit better. Um, let me get you another tarot card and we'll see, well, have a, not another tarot card, we'll get you a tarot card. We'll see what card wants to come out for you guys. Um, to, to this side, lovely. Ooh, everyone's going through really intense stuff at the moment. It's like, it's not even like lovely dovey. It's like, yes, there is some love messages in there, but oh my God, it's like, it just feels so raw and intense, but it's, it's okay, it's okay. All right, I'm hearing this will move through. You are fully supported. If you have a Virgo around you right now, lean on them for support or an earth sign. Because I'm feeling like they're your tree to lean on. <laughs> Um, okay, we have the Six of Wands, we have a Strength, we have the Queen of Pentacles, and a Chariot. Okay, so, I'm picking up on a lot of you guys, you are being drawn to do something where you earn money, but in a different way. Um, you're being called to change something. Um, I'm hearing the truth is revealed, and it is beautiful. So we have Essence, Soul, Authenticity, Signature Vibration, Shadow Work, Inner Child Work, Rebirth, Change, Paradise Shift, Uniqueness, and per Perfection. Lovely. So we have the Nine of Pentacles. This reminds me of Beauty and the Beast, this rose. Where it's like, you kind of feel like you're out of time. But I'm also hearing like you're comparing yourself to other people and their beauty. And it's like, girl, just focus on you, okay? And when I say girl, that's just how I talk. Some people can take it personally and think, why do you always say girl? Girl, if you get offended by me saying girl, that's not my problem, bitch. Because <laughs> I'm talking to my men and my women. Okay, we have temperance, lovely. This is about getting balanced. Yeah, beautiful. All right, so I'm seeing like a new window. You might actually literally be moving house because you actually are looking through a new window. But I'm seeing a new window. Like there's something happening, something is cracking open. You are really focusing on yourself. I'm picking up on running, you're dancing, you're moving your body. Moving your body is going to really shift these old energies. I really feel like you are needing to put in some daily practice for yourself to really help yourself get more comfortable with um, what you're going through. And pick up a lot of ancestral patterning. So you might be dealing with a lot of ancestral patterning. Um, being really controlled by it, it's okay. That is really part of the process of being in the collective. And you are gonna start to move through it. You're gonna start to move forward and move through this situation, which is great. I really feel this is good for you. Um, I feel like within the next six months, there's gonna be a lot of stuff happening, but it's not really physical. Um, in this, obviously in this spread, it's showing me it's not really physical, it's more emotional. Um, it's more like you're realizing things, um, you are, you're realizing more things, you are seeing things clearer you are able to imagine things. I feel like you have got more space in your brain. So give yourself a fucking break. You're doing a great job. And pick up, especially if you have children, give yourself a break. You have to be, you have to be kind to yourself as well. You know, I'm hearing the best mother isn't a perfect mother, it's a happy mother, you know? And that's the same with people. The best person is not a perfect person, it's a happy person. So really focusing on that. And I'm picking up, if you can go somewhere and just have a drive and just go somewhere different that's got different views, um, you know, has different weather, just do it, because I feel like you really need to change your environment, okay? All right, so, let's see, if you feel like you're not moving right now, like, if anything's not moving, move your body, okay? Because it might just be that something's stuck within you, and that needs to really shift, that will help things to move from here, and trust me, it will help things to move through, okay? So, let's get your guidance card, this is the Rose Oracle, oh my god, that was quick. Ooh. Okay, we have the return. I love that. A new story, you decide, alignment is coming together. And then we have underneath, lineage of the rose, moved by the goddess, here for this soul call and gather. Okay, so I'm going to bring the light up again because we're using natural lighting. All right, so we have the return. So we have, uh, what, what is this? So this is 106. So feel free to close your eyes if you want to really embody this message. Um, if not, no worries. Okay, so we have the return. A new story, you decide alignment is coming together. And that's kind of what I feel like in the next six months is really about getting your emotions sorted, um, getting that sorted, and then, then you get the physical external stuff coming in. You've waited patiently for this moment. You've likely been working on the inner for some time and now the outer is beginning to come into alignment. As changing beings, we're in a never-ending growth cycle. 
That doesn't mean that we're constantly in bloom. No, this means we're constantly changing. This card is like the bloom, however, it's more powerful than that. It heralds the coming and going of a whole new way of being. An entirely new story has been written. This card heralds a great shift in your life. This often takes time, sometimes even lifetimes. Acknowledge how far you've come and how much you've grown. You're a part of creating change, not only in your own life, but in the world. Take a moment to take it in. You're just one of many, but your being here matters. A petal in the rose of new humanity, part of the forever unfolding. Things are aligning for you and around you. They're convening and coming together. You're in the right place at the right time. Your outer world matches your inner world. This card is delivering a message of harmony, coming together and the embodiment of holding a clear vision for many years. You've been doing the groundwork to get to this moment right here, perhaps for months, years, or even lifetimes. Use this moment, you get to decide what happens next. Rose transmission. I acknowledge how far I've come and how much I've grown. I decide what happens next. Wow. That is so beautiful. Oh my God, this lighting is so crazy. I'm so sorry, guys. It's so dark. Okay, so that's kind of what I'm feeling for you guys. Um, Let's get you some more cards. Let's see what else wants to come through. Okay, let's get some astrology cards for you guys. Let's see what wants to come through. What's coming in for the next six months? We have Venus. We have Libra. We have a waning gibbous moon and a second house. Okie dokie. Underneath we have Saturn. So really, really big changes. This is so intense. Whew. All right. So Venus, Libra, waning gibbous and second house. Okay. Let me get a couple of clarifying cards. I'm feeling a little bit confused by this. So let's get a few... Clarifying cards. So we have manifest. We have the empty space. <laughs> and then we have ask. Okay. What I feel like for a lot of you guys is this is actually manifesting balance in your life. This is actually about manifesting things that are concrete that will be stable. So you could be getting a new job very soon. You could be moving house quite soon. Um, you could be manifesting a new career, manifesting a new partnership. It is literally all the things, but it's going to be after you've gone through this really, really big transformation. And it's going to be when you're ready, when you're feeling a bit more stable. There will be a bit of a pause for a while, but it really is about asking for help. Don't be afraid to ask for help in any situation you're in. And when it comes to this Venus and Libra, this is really powerful. This is, you know, Venus, Libra is ruling, Venus rules Libra. So it's really about that energy of, um, connection and balance and I feel like also it's about embracing your femininity your feminine side and embracing your nurturing side and how you can bring that more in I feel like also this is to do with you bringing things in that you enjoy doing things that you enjoy and I'm hearing the last of it is nearly over you are nearly at the end okay so that is all I'm getting for you guys rates and crystal shop are below and I'll speak to you very soon much love bye Hello, good number four. Let's get started with your reading. Let's see what's going on for you guys. So you have masculine. Oh, nice. So this says direction, movement, protection, and giving. Okay, so let's see. I'm gonna get some more cards. This is the Universal Oracle Cards by Christina. Okay, so we have perspective. And then, let's see what else we have present lovely so this is where you are right now this is beautiful this feels really really nice okay let's have a look at the future okay we have a cycle is there another one yeah, there we go cycle feminine oh my god we have the feminine and the masculine expansion temptation i'm getting so many like love and sensual messages in these cards which is so cool it's like I never really directly focus on love a lot of the time. 
And when I, whenever I don't focus on love, the love messages come in. When I do focus on love, the love messages don't come in. It's so funny, literally law of attraction, right? So we have talents on the right path. So anytime you focus on yourself, you are on the right path, girl, because you are focusing on manifesting those, that money, manifesting abundance and things like that. I'm sorry if the lighting is really, really powerful. I just wanna make sure you can see the cards. Sorry if it's a bit too much. Uh, I am using natural lighting today, so I'm sorry if it's a bit too much. Okay, so we have a masculine pers perspective and mm, meditation. <laughs> no, we have masculine perspective and presence. What I feel like for a lot of you guys is if there's a decision you have to make, please take your time, okay? Don't take any massive steps right now. And I say this because you wanna make sure you're doing it for you. You're not doing it for other people. If there is a time constraint, don't focus on it too much, but meditate on it if you feel the need to. I really feel like that's a really good idea. Um, I feel like some of you guys have been watching videos where it's like yes or no, pick a card, or like trying to make a decision. Remember, whatever decision you make is the right decision anyway, but remember it's got to come from yourself, your intuition and your authenticity, okay? So make sure to give yourself a freaking break. Um, I'm also picking up on Rose Quartz and Red Jasper. Rose Quartz is a really feminine energy and Red Jasper is a really masculine energy. So I feel like this is really, really good for you to bring in is the masculine right now, focusing on your masculine. At the moment, it is, yeah, like I say, very important to focus on your masculine side because what this is doing is this is gonna set you up for the future so you have very, very strong boundaries and you feel really solid. And then in the future, you're coming more into your feminine and you are nurturing, you are receiving. Masculine is more of a giving energy, Feminine is more of a receiving. So Venus is your how you receive and Mars is how you give it out. So I feel like a lot of you guys are coming into a really powerful cycle around relationships. I feel like um, in relationships, I mean every relationship, family, friends, uh, partners, whoever, I feel like you are really coming into a strong growth process. You have been there will be a little bit of temptation to move back into your old patterning, but I genuinely feel like a lot of you guys won't do that. Um, this can be psychodependency, people pleasing, things like that. And of course, these things are 100% natural in a very, very, very corrupt society. When we don't get a lot of emotional regulation, we're not taught how to deal with our emotions. It's all very, very normal. Um, and by the way, sorry if I sound really stuffed up, it's because I've got hay fever <laughs> and my nose. I just randomly kept sneezing before doing this pile. So I'm sorry if I sound really stuffed up. Um, and basically I feel like you guys are, you you might come back around to something, uh, a particular situation with a certain person that, that requires you to really set your boundaries, but trust me, this is great because what it's doing is it's getting you more comfortable with being a really beautiful feminine energy and bringing in your feminine energy. This is about receiving. I feel like some, you're going to receive something very soon. Um, I'm hearing within the sixth house. So it could be, um, you could feel really good in your body. Um, oops, those cards just fell. Um, it could be you like change your diet, you change your, um, you change your diet, you change your routines, you could change your work environment, something like that. Okay, so we have, lovely, King of Cups, we have the Death card, and we have the Six of Pentacles. This is absolutely perfect. This is basically confirming what I feel. The King of Cups is also, it's really interesting because we kind of have it here, we have the masculine, then we have this temptation. I feel like this is about you guys getting comfortable with the opposite sex. And for especially for those of you who are in straight relationships, you are getting comfortable with the opposite sex. If you're not, and you are not interested in that, you're in the same sex connection, it is really about getting comfortable with that gender, okay? And getting comfortable with asserting yourself around this could be even to do with a mother figure, a father figure, to, um, family, friends, whoever they are, doesn't have to be a partnership, but whoever they are, you are being able to assert yourself, okay? Could even be a boss as well. Lovely. I feel like the massive, massive change for you guys. You are possibly moving on from a relationship that wasn't good for you. For some of you guys, if that's something, if that feels right for you to hear that. I feel like for some of you guys, you are, I'm hearing I'm getting more single. What this means to me is you are becoming more independent. Um, you are basically making decisions from your own independence. You are no longer forcing connections. You are no longer, you know, you're attracting people from an authentic place and you are supportive. Don't be afraid to ask the universe for, for support. And what you're basically attracting is new connections that feel right for you. New connections that feel really, really comfortable 
and no more manipulation, no more people manipulating you through your emotions because you can see people right through, you can literally see right through people. Let's get you your next cards. All right. Rose Oracle advice card. Let's see what advice you need right now. Give these a good old shuffle shuffle. Picking up on Doctor Who for some of you guys, pick up on like BBC shows like Sherlock, um, Doctor Who, things like that. <clears throat> What's picking up on like David Attenborough? I don't know if there's, these are things that you guys are watching right now. A really loud car going past. Sorry if you can hear that. Okay, so let's get your card. Here we go. We have the Holy Grail. Stop the endless searching in a quest. And underneath we have trust the seasons, embracing change, a cycle of life, transition and growth. Yeah, this is beautiful. I love how this is in the reverse because I feel like a lot of you guys are really struggling to trust the ups and downs, trust in the seasons, um, trust in the change. So we're gonna have a look at this Holy Grail. Um, let's see. Uh, the Holy Grail, number 88. I'm picking up for a lot of you guys. I'm hearing, this is so blunt, I'm just gonna say it. Remember this is only a reading, guys. Trust your own intuition as well. I feel like a lot of you guys tend to, or have seen in other people, following people just blindly and not thinking about their own intuition. This is just guidance, you know. This is only here to support you and to help you with whatever you're going through. This is not pure fact, you know. <laughs> At the end of the day, it is for entertainment purposes, but it is, you know, it's here to help you as well. It's here to provide guidance. So if you ever feel like a message you read or watch or hear or you see a post online and you're like, ugh, I really don't like that, then you don't have to accept it. You know, you have your own intuition. You, you can make your own choices, okay? All right, so we have the Holy Grail, stop the endless searching, the inner quest. Feel free to close your eyes if you are drawn to do so. The Holy Grail is a mysterious, long sought relic about which stories have been told through the ages. Some believe it holds the key to eternal life and divine union. Many devote their lives to discovering and possessing it. It features in the legends of King Arthur, the knight Galahad achieved the vision of, of God through the Grail. In Christian mysticism, the grail is the cup used by Jesus at the Last Supper and afterward by Joseph, Joseph of Arrhythmia to catch blood at the crucifixion. It was taken to the Isle of Avalon and buried on Chalice Hill, Glastonbury, which is in the UK. Hi, <laughs> I'm from the UK, which turned the chalice well, waters red. Pilgrims travel from all corners of the world today to drink from these healing waters. Some believe the Grail legend predates Christ, was inspired by all wells and cultures of Welsh and Celtic mythology. The Holy Grail is the ultimate spiritual quest. Many see quests as physical places to journey to, conquer or find, but perhaps the Grail is an invitation to go inward, to connect with the grace within and to find, to find it without. To realise that this journey of drinking from the eternal well is to find it deep within as the part of us that cannot be extinguished. Perhaps this is why the rose is a symbol that goes with the grail, her petals calling us to spiral in. For it's there that we find the nectar of all that we've searched for patiently waiting for us to return to it. Stop looking without, stop the endless searching, turn your gaze within. How can you go within and focus more on what really matters? beautiful and it is really focusing on one thing at a time if you feel a bit overwhelmed yeah it really is just focusing one thing at a time okay all right so let's get you um some more cards so we're going to pull you some astrology cards and we'll see what wants to come through for your advice okay let's see Okay, so we have Lunar Eclipse, we have Uranus, we have the fifth house, we're going to get a couple more as well just to see what's going on. We have Venus, and we also have Eris, okay, so I feel like I want to pull a couple more cards just to clarify. Underneath we have the sun in reverse. I feel like this is about showing up for yourself. I feel like this is about putting yourself first. 
And I feel like this is about realising where pleasure and joy lie in your connections with the, with others. Um, I feel like this is also to do with how you show up in relationships, how your emotions are being recognised, are they being recognised, are there people in your life who are emotionally connected to themselves and everything like that. Okay, let's get your card more. So we have permission, lovely. It's also about giving yourself permission to love and be loved and everything like that. Patience, lovely. Okay, let's get you one more. Let's get one more. Okay, so we have peace as well. So we have Uranus, which is major, major breakthroughs, like really, really random breakthroughs that happen like that. So I feel like for a lot... <clears throat> a lot of you guys are going to start to realise something really, really powerful in your connections with others and to yourself and realising where your joy is kind of lacking. I feel like really bringing in joy is good for you guys. And things like forgiving, you could need to forgive your past to actually bring in joy because maybe joy wasn't really practised when you were younger. Maybe it never felt really like important. So for you guys, it's actually bringing in that joy. And the fifth house is all about rom romance and play and joy. So I feel like for a lot of you guys, just put on your favourite song and have a little dance or talk to somebody who makes you feel really good, do something artistic, do something out of your comfort zone. This is all about you guys expressing yourself. I feel like that's so important. And I'm picking up, it's a season, not a lifetime. So whatever you're going through, it really is a season. It's not gonna last forever and you are fully, 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 fully supported. So have a great day. My rates and crystal shop are below and I'll speak to you very, very soon. Bye.